welcome everyone. Uh, you're probably wondering, what am I starting on Steam? Well, it's Star Wars Day, May 4th, and there's a sale going on. A uh, little word of advice, if you're going, oh, there'd be a sale going on for PlayStation 5 and Nintendo Switch, I will cover that. We're starting with Steam. I'm not starting with Ebby because they don't probably have enough Star Wars games. Now, Just Survivor, 70% off. That's great. This is free. It's in my library. These are in Australian prices. Do check where prices are in your country if you are able to have Steam. Yeah, a number of these items aren't on sale. And I do mean these aren't on sale. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order Deluxe Edition. If you are on PlayStation, that would say, not PlayStation, on PC, I should say. That is a great price, 90% off. But if you're on Xbox, uh, we will be going over the prices. This is in a Heritage bundle, which I will show later on. All these are all normal prices. So Jedi Collection, my price is forty dollars. I can virtually grab these. Ooh, droid repair bay. Uh, yes, please. Uh, let's just add that to library. Yes, you need VR. I don't care. Do you actually need VR for this? Well, it's very positive. Okay, so you do need VR. That's fine. So let's just continue down until we get to Pinball FX. Yeah. Not very helpful, Steve. Not very helpful at all. So with uh, PlayStation's selection, we have Star Wars Force Awakens. If you are PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, you can buy this and then just if you want the deluxe edition, you can fork out a hundred dollars. It sucks. Your offering suck, PlayStation. You want Star Wars Battlefront 2 on PlayStation 4 slash PlayStation 5? Thirty dollars Australian. Yes, the prices are in Australian. That's actually pretty good. I need a VR headset just to play it. Uh, you want Squadron, Star Wars Squadrons for 60 bucks? Uh, I can offer you a better ID. How about Squadrons, Fallen Survivor, Jedi, Fallen Order, I should say, and Star Wars Battlefront 2 Celebration Edition, $120. That's PS4, PS5. Hey, you want Jedi Fallen Order Deluxe Upgrade after that? Slap an extra 20 bucks or $18 Australian. And that is if you have EA Play. My, old, my Xbox Ultimate Game Pass actually includes Xbox, um, includes EA Play, I think. So here are all these. I'm excited for, to watch this. I'm excited to have with that. Those two I'm going to be going for as well. So Deluxe Edition, Fallen Order Standard. And then that. So yeah. Wow. Sarcastic clapping here. Save ten percent, which is literally seven dollars. No thank you. Hey, you wanna Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have a talk play session about this later. 
Subscribe to PlayStation Plus Deluxe to play a 1 0 full game trial. Might as well offer the demo. If you want the Galactic Edition, go right ahead. You're just not going to get the season pass because you have to buy that separately. Star Wars Tales from the Galaxy Edge Enhanced Edition. I would like this, and I may grab it next week. Star Wars Jedi Survivor. I'm actually playing that via Xbox. Game Pass Ultimate. So yes, there are new abilities to learn, learn enhanced, um, accelerating combat, level design, and epic boss battles. Yeah, um, if you want to drop a hundred and forty dollars a strand, that's fine. Go right ahead. It's not on sale. Same with Star Wars Outlaws. Yes, you can pre-order. It's just that there's no actual, actual um, other version. Hey, you want to play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic and Knights of the Old Republic 2 on Nintendo Switch? You can. Yes, the price is in Australia. It's 40, nearly $40 Australian. You're saving 25 cents. Even better. And yes, this game was on PC before being ported, I think, ported over to the OG Xbox, and I think the PlayStation 2. Here's the Heritage Pack that I was talking about, which is like $113.55, I should say. Total price if purchased individually is nearly $160, as you can see from here. So in the Heritage Pack, you have Star Wars Force Unleashed for 30 bucks. Good price, not necessarily bad, but Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, one and two. Jedi Outcast from Jedi Knight 2. Jedi Knight Aca Jedi Academy, Episode 1 Racer, which was on the N64 at the time of release. And you have the Republic Commando. All in all, every game is a good game. Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection, beautiful on, the, on Nintendo Switch because it's locked at a certain frame rate, where it is actually sucking on the PlayStation 5 and Xbox, along with PC. Yeah. Again, we have Star Wars Force Unleashed. Again, it's in the Heritage Pack. This is the $114.95 Australian price. Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga Galactic Edition. You actually get everything which is included. Apart from, I think, Character Collection Pack 1 and 2. Which is not here. And then you have, uh, like I said, Knights of the Old Republic. Again, it's in the Heritage Edition. And the bundle. Knights of the Old Republic. That, that, this is what you are going to look at when you actually jump on the Nintendo store. For games and such. This is what you'll be met with. And if you put in Star Wars, this is all you're going to be getting. It's just these four. put in Lego, this is what you're gonna, just going to get. So basically all these. All these Lego games. I'm playing this one on PlayStation 5. I've completed that one. I'm going back through that. I've completed that. Completed that. Going through on that one. Completed. Going through. 
And here we have the cream of the crop, the best store to actually have all these Star Wars games that you can actually play. Oh, did I also mention Jedi Starfighters on the Xbox Game Store and not on the PlayStation one? Yeah. So, you want to have a look? Be my guest. Just go, just go to the Xbox store. Just go to xbox.com. It'll come up with whatever country you're, you're in. It won't go to the US, trust me. It does, if I don't put um, EU-AU. Put in Star Wars and you can go for your life on every Star Wars game that you can actually fit on your Xbox Series X hard drive internal one and the um let's see on either of these on either one of these on the storage expansion cards I just brought myself Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order Deluxe Edition which only cost me nine dollars. That's ninety percent off. Ninety percent off if you just buy the base game. Hey, you want uh, Squadrons, Jedi Fallen Order, and Battlefront Two all in one package? Prices in Australian dollars. Check your country's dollar. Check it. Right now, Xbox is beating both PlayStation and Nintendo Switch in sales. Star Wars because if you actually do go to the Xbox main page on um, if you have the Xbox game Xbox Series X console you will see celebrate Star Wars up safe up to 90% go into that you can celebrate Star Wars with the movies full collections $109.90 for the sequel movies, which is episode 7, 8, and 9, it's going to cost you $37 Australian, or if you want to, you can spend from $19 to $20 on every single movie. And by every single movie, I mean every single movie, which is going to put you more than over the $109.90 mark. Because, um, let's see, we have Solos, Our Story, $20 Australian, Rogue One, $20 Australian, Star Wars, Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith, they're $19 each, Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back with Return of the Jedi, is $19 also. Uh, the one movie I am not seeing is A New Hope. Because episode 7, 8, and 9 are on the Xbox Game Store, just not A New Hope. So if you go with the Skywalker Saga, uh, buying Ultra HD is $120 Australian. HD is $109.90 Australian and SD is the same price as HD which includes all movies again I do not see a new hope uh, yet yeah, there it is I see a new hope it's in there um, you do have all the bonus footage so documentaries the deleted scenes, cast of creatures, aliens in the desert, Dio, key to the pass, um, feature of commentary, smoke and mirrors, lighting the spark, balance of the force, director and the Jedi, showdown on credit, any scariest alive, one night only, deleted scenes, introduction from uh, Brian Johnson. We also have a deleted scene 
which is the alternate opening for no action the hospital family alone and intended while the resistance on attack in this alternate opening of the movie. So it would be episode eight. I got the del more deleted scenes which is page gun jams. Page gun jams Luke has a moment pose. Uh it's kinda weird something. Uh Mega Destroyer extended or something. Caretaker Village, the Caretaker Sizes, Rose Bites the Hand, blah blah blah. Virtually every single deleted scene with commentary and everything else, along with crafting creatures, building BB 8, uh, Table Red, uh, the story awakens, uh, Blueprint of a Battle, the Snow Fight. Literally every single thing. So, ILM, which is the visual magic. Of the force and such. And yes, I'm looking at my TV because my Xbox Series X is actually connected to it. And then if I go to games, I'm literally looking what's here. So, $200 for the Ultimate Edition for Star Wars Outlaws. I would love to get my hands on that. Um, Jedi Survivor, I am playing that at the moment. That is the deluxe edition that you can get, which is this one. That's not. Uh, let me just pull this one up because you can actually get the base game itself, which is forty dollars, or you can get the deluxe edition, which is an extra oh, fifty dollars, which is an extra extra seventeen dollars something. But if you do have Xbox Ultimate Game Pass, I get just for you. Which is virtually just the upgrade. Which includes all this. Which includes all these. The Galactic Hero Cosmetic Pack, the Scoundrel Cosmetic Pack, the Rugged BD-1 Cosmetic Gear, a BD-1 in the this tough and sturdy rig that will ready him for any adventure, the DL44 Blaster Set, the New Hero Cosmetic Pack, the Rebel Hero Cosmetic Evoke the Heroism of Luke Skywalker, um, which um, the outfit molded after his iconic yellow jacket worn in Star Wars A New Hope, the BD Astro BD1 Cosmetic, uh, famous astromech in the Galaxy R2-D2, the Rebel Hero lightsaber set included equip a lightsaber modded with elements from all the lightsabers wielded by Luke Skywalker throughout the original trilogy. Actually, I might grab that. I have until next week by by the looks of things. Yeah. So forever fifty five percent or fifty percent, which is fifty five percent. And this is, it's because I am a Game Pass Ultimate member. So basically, if you get one of these, I advise the 2 terabyte. do not get the 1 terabyte because the number of games will actually eat up the storage space. So get the 2 terabyte. You can grab, uh, let's say, Jedi Star Wars Survivor if you want the Ultimate. If you want the Deluxe Edition, you can grab that. You can also grab a number of original OG Xbox games, a uh, number of Xbox 360 games, a number of Xbox One slash Xbox Series X, S games. Hey, if you have um, Pinball FX3, you can grab those. We still good on time. Yeah, excellent. Um, this... I'll, I'll, I'm just going to say this right now. Okay? I'm just going to say this right now. Grab this. Grab this. Do not go for. Do not go for this one. Do not click on this one. Okay. Do not click on it. I'll tell you why. This is nine dollars seventy-four. 
this is a good price for LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens if you have kids who just want to have a fun time. Then you can grab this, which is, if I go back to here, is $3. This includes every pack, including level pack. So you literally don't need to buy something that is nearly $80, or I should say $80 plus. Just buy the base game, buy the season pass. You are saving literally over, well if I do the math correctly, if you were an Australian, base game is $9.74, and then add $2.99, that should come to a total of just over $12, literally saving you money, which means you don't have to buy the Galactic Edition, which is what, well, the Force Unleashed Deluxe Edition, I should say. But if you want the Skywalker Saga Galactic Edition, you can grab this too. For $28.73. And it includes the Character Pack Collection 1 and Collection 2. So these two packs right here. You literally get these. You also get full game character collection one, seven downloadable content packs, which includes classic trooper, Mandalorian season one, season two, bad batch, rogue one, Star Wars story, solo Star Wars story, collection character collection two, six new download content download content packs, which is Obi Wan Kenobi and or the book of Boba Fett, Clone Wars Rebels and Summer Vacation. Okay, if you want to slog out a very long game, this one is for you. If you have kids that are into Star Wars, get them this. Go out and grab an Xbox Series X, or Series S. Grab one of these cards. Yes, I know you're going to be spending over a grand, but trust me, you will be thanking yourself for it. Especially your kids. Then jump onto the Xbox storefront. Mm -hmm. If you have Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, hey, congratulations. You'll be able to grab this DLC, the Deluxe Upgrade. Or if you want, you can just buy the Deluxe Edition for Jedi Star Wars, the Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Oh, but please do not pop up while I'm doing a video. Go for it. You're saving. I'm. I've, I brought this. I'm saving eighty-two dollars and forty-eight cents. Whereas I can buy this, and I can just install this. I can just go back and have fun. But I don't need to because I 100% the game and it's something I don't really want to unless I want to have it sitting in my library. But I do need to grab probably this just so I can put over a number of um, Xbox Series X S games. I want to know if these actually play, if the games play straight from this. Because if it does, I am going to be very happy. And I don't mean I'm going to be very happy because it means I'll be able to play all my Xbox Series X S games that are optimized for the Xbox Series X. S on on console again which means I don't have to worry about moving anything 
because for me to actually have all those Star Wars games, I am I only have about 7.2 gig of storage left on the internal. So if I had one of these, if I had two terabyte, I can move virtually everything over. Which is virtually, I'm looking at two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen games. That's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at fourteen games. just so that I can have space again on the internal storage. I do have Aliens vs. Predator Fable 2, Red Dead Redemption 1, which I enjoy. Um, I do have a number of Xbox One games, but I would love to be able to um, just have that that at, at, on the this on the back side of my Xbox Series X where I can just throw all the Xbox optimized for Xbox Series X S games onto and just enjoy but like I said if you have Star Wars like there is this one but that's the deluxe edition where you can go with the galactic edition and you literally get everything. And I will show again. You literally will get everything with this game. So this is what you get with the galactic galactic edition of like a Star Wars. So if you want to sit there, yeah, it's 400 characters for an expanded universe. You can sit there, let everything install, and then go, alright, I finished this level, I'm going back through free play with this character, because I need this, or I need this character to use this. So, do enjoy Star Wars Day, this coming Saturday. I know where I'm going, because I'm going in for um, a few free comics and such, that I mentioned last video, yesterday. Without further ado, I will end here. I'll see you all Friday and then Saturday for the free comic book haul I can probably be having. Um, well, we do have free games Friday, comic book haul Saturday, and then after that, it's back to just normal Fridays, which is the video to um two free games or the free games from Epic Game Store. So I will see you all then. Until then, take care, enjoy. If you have an Xbox Series X and you're a Star Wars fan, congratulations, you're just, um, you made your bank account cry. But do have fun with all the games. I know I am. I just gotta figure out which one I need to put over to a, um, yeah, or I just finish one thing. So, I'll see you all in the next videos. Take care, enjoy where you are, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. For more notifications, share this video with anyone who's looking at buying Star Wars games. I brought this. I have this. I just brought it. Enjoy it.